So here we have the junction in question. This is Western Road and this is Sandy Lane. So we're looking to turn left out of Western Road. And as you can see, it's an extremely tight left turn. So how do we do this? Let's go on to Street View and have a look at it. Now with this junction, when turning left, due to how sharp it is, you're always going to end up on the wrong side of the road. And because of this, it's quite acceptable to do this. Um, if it wasn't advisable, there would probably be a sign here saying no left turns. I can only guess the reason why they permit left turns here is the road, the main road you're turning onto, does not appear to be too busy. Um, so it's fairly low risk. If this was a busy road, it'd probably be a no left turn, or if it wasn't, I would strongly advise people not to turn left at this junction. Um, with that being said, and um, when doing a left turn here, probably what I would do when doing it is keep near this centre line, just almost just kissing it, just touching it. This will keep you away from the curb on this side. Because it's so sharp, when you turn left, you're going to have to do a full lock. When you do a full lock, if you're too close to this curb here, it's likely your rear wheels are going to clip it as you turn, which isn't what you want. Because it could be a pedestrian standing there, looking to cross, particularly as it does appear to be a dropped curb. And, just before you reach the giveaway line, put a full left lock on. The aim is to get the car as perpendicular as possible to the giveaway lines, like shown on this diagram. So, you're now positioned somewhere around here, with your car fairly perpendicular to the lines as you can get it. Before you pull out from the junction, you need to look right, have a really good look left, which is something that when turning left, often people forget to do um, and on this junction it's really really important because you end up going on the their side of the road where this red car is coming from so you're going to have to do really good look right really good look left really good look right really good look left and then pulling out if it's safe to if um, the oncoming vehicle is this far away um, you should just about be okay if they're any closer than this vehicle or they're going fast, so maybe on your second look, they've got very close, then definitely don't pull out. You need quite a lot of time to do this turn safely. I would ideally wait for there to be almost no cars in sight, or for the cars just to be a little speck in the distance, barely visible. So you've now checked it safe, and you're starting to pull out. And then, we'll come onto this side of the road here a bit, you can actually see the tyre tracks of what people have done before. It's interesting there appear to be skid marks. This is likely to be people come down the hill. Because it's a hill, they're going a bit fast. Um, maybe they're not using their brakes to control their speed. And then when they get to the end, they just see it as a normal giveaway. They check right, view to the right is brilliant. So they think, yep, safe to go. And then they pull out and then realise how sharp it is. And then suddenly end up on the wrong side of the road. And they're braking while this is all happening. This is why I really think there should really be a stop line to encourage people to stop and think about the junction before they pull out because it is a bit of an unusual and potentially dangerous junction. So, now you've pulled out, you're coming out wide onto the opposite side of the road and then you're slowly coming back onto your side and when you get to this drain cover you should really be back on your side of the road. And then you'll be on your way. And that's basically my opinion on how I would do this junction.